Hello everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. Today we will discuss an essential topic that could make a life saving difference fire extinguisher placements. Please note extinguishers are required in almost all facilities. There is some exception as per NFPA 10. One or two family dwellings do not require these extinguishers. So before we discuss about installation height of fire extinguishers as per NFPA 10, we are going to look at the most important key points or essential tips for optimal placement and use of these fire extinguishers. So first tip would be to place the fire extinguishers in such a way that we can easily reach to that location during an emergency. Second tip is to have an evacuation plan readily available so that we can evacuate safely during emergency. Third tip would be to place fire extinguishers in an accessible location so that we can easily access during an emergency. And fourth tip would be like fire extinguishers should be placed in visible location and also we need to make sure the labels are properly provided near fire extinguishers. Apart from that, these extinguishers should be positioned along the regular paths of travel such as near the doorways and along the hallways so that they can be quickly reached when needed. So fifth tip would be strategic placement. So we need to position the extinguishers near fire hazards but safely away from immediate danger. Fifth tip is maintenance. It means we need to regularly check the fire extinguishers whether they are correctly placed and are in working order. So let us discuss the most important topic for our today's session which will be installation details of fire extinguishers as per NFPA 10 requirements. This will be used when you are preparing the installation details for fire extinguishers. So basically if the fire extinguishers weigh more than 40 pounds or 18.14 kg then in order to ensure easy access the top of the fire extinguisher should be no more than 3.5 feet so i'll just draw for you for easy understanding so this is the top of extinguisher so as per nfpa 10 this will be like finished floor level f f and L. So this will be finished floor level. So from the finished floor level to the topmost part of the fire extinguisher, this height should not be more than 1.07 meters or 3.5 feet as per NFPA 10 requirements. So basically, I hope you understand if the fire extinguisher weight is more than 18.14 kg, then the installation height from the finished floor to the top of the extinguisher should be 1.07 meter and which will be equivalent to 3.5 feet. So you might get a doubt like what will be the minimum height which can be installed from the finished floor for this particular extinguisher. So the minimum height should be 4 inches which means 100 mm or like 102 mm. I'll write 102 mm above the floor. So this is the installation height. So you might ask if extinguisher gross weight is less than 40 pounds or 18.14 kg, what would be the maximum height from the finished floor and minimum height from the finished floor? 
So basically you can see on your screen from the top of the fire extinguisher to the finished floor level the maximum height can be 5 feet which will be equivalent to 1.5 I'm sorry just a moment my handwriting is not good so 1.53 meters so either you can call it as 5 feet or 1.53 meters so from the finished floor level to the topmost of the fire extinguisher shall not exceed 5 feet and what would be the minimum minimum height from finished floor level so basically this would be same for all the extinguishers which means 102 mm or we can say like 4 inch from the finish floor level. So sometimes we will keep the fire extinguisher directly on the bottom of the, I mean uh, directly on the floor. So that is not accepted as per NFPA 10. This extinguisher shall be minimum, uh, you know, above 4 inch from the finish floor level so once again just to give you clarity if the extinguisher gross weight is less than 1 point I'm sorry 18.14 kg then this installation height is applicable so as per NFPA 10 fire extinguishers can be installed inside the cabinets so cabinets housing the extinguishers shall not be locked as per NFPA 10 and second point which is the most important point for fire resistance rating walls only surface mounted cabinets or listed fire rated cabinets shall be installed this clause is not applicable to existing installations and extinguishers shall not be placed outside the temperature range specified on the label and fourth point would be like if the extinguishers are subject to physical damage then approved strap type brackets shall be used here if you are using uh, you know cabinets this point is not applicable However, the most important point would be like the bottom of fire extinguisher must always be at least 4 inch from the finished floor and the hangers and brackets which are used for the fire extinguishers shall not be fabricated at site. It shall be provided by the manufacturer who is supplying the fire extinguishers and the last and most important point would be like wheeled extinguishers. Wheeled extinguishers, here I am not able to show the wheeled extinguisher anyhow. You can just google it so that you will uh, get an idea about wheeled extinguisher. However, the wheeled extinguishers shall be located in the designated locations. So let's discuss about the location requirements. This is the most important topic in entire NFPA. 10 series so make sure to watch the complete video so that you will be able to understand the concept of fire extinguisher placements as per NFPA 10 requirements and also you can be able to you know place the extinguishers on the architecture drawings in line with the NFPA 10. So before we locate fire extinguishers as per NFPA 10, we need to understand the definition of the travel distance. As you can see here one figure, I will try to explain as per NFPA 10 the definition of travel distance. So travel distance is nothing but the actual walking distance from a point here you can see to the nearest fire extinguishers fulfilling the hazard requirements what would be the travel distance everything is written in NFPA 10 we will go step by step
so now our focus will be mainly on the travel distance requirements so in next session we are going to discuss in detail about this table by considering one example so basically here you can see on your screen you can find class a rated fire extinguisher table as per nfpa 10 so the maximum travel distance to extinguisher shall be 75 feet it means the travel distance to the extinguisher can't be more than 75 feet or 22.9 meters and you can see even if you use 2a rated extinguishers or 4a rated extinguisher if you are using class a type then the maximum travel distance cannot go beyond 75 feet this is the most important point for now and second point would be here you can see light hazard occupancy ordinary hazard occupancy extra hazard occupancy based on the occupancy they have given the uh, rating so this one we will discuss in detail in next session however please remember these hazard occupancies are not same as what we discussed during our class related to the sprinkler system all those things will be once again discussed in next session as i already told you today our main focus would be on the travel distance to the extinguishers so based on the type of hazard and the extinguisher rating the travel distance to the extinguisher cannot be more than 30 feet to 50 feet which is nothing but 9.14 meter to 15.25 meter for class b rated fire extinguisher this table is also available in nfpa 10 so class c fire extinguishers or class c rated fire extinguishers do not have any specific travel distance requirement since these extinguishers are specifically designed for fires involving energized electrical equipment and also they should be sized and placed based on the expected class a or class b risk and the last and most important point these type of uh, extinguishers use non-conductive agents to safely put out electrical fires without the risk of electric shock class d rated fire extinguishers as per nfpa 10 the size of fire extinguishers for combustible metals should be determined based on the manufacturer recommendations and data from the control tests for the specific type of metal involved since these are used for combustible metals and second most important point related to the travel distance extinguishers shall be located not more than 22.9 meter or 75 feet from class d hazard this is similar to class a travel distance requirement Class K rated fire extinguishers as per NFPA 10 class K fire extinguishers maximum travel distance shall not exceed 30 feet 9.14 meter from the hazard to class K extinguisher and second most important point related to class K the minimum capacity shall be 1.6 gallons for solid fuel cooking appliances with a firebox volume of 5 cubic feet or less or 2A rated fire water extinguisher to be installed. It means if you are considering wet chemical extinguisher for kitchen location then minimum 1.6 gallon extinguisher to be considered for the firebox volume of 5 cubic feet or less. If it is exceeding the firebox volume is exceeding 5 cubic feet then we need to consider the higher capacity you, you might find 2.5 gallons as well otherwise we need to place 1.6 gallon two numbers at that particular location and second point in case we don't have wet chemical extinguisher we can place two aerated water fire extinguisher as well at that particular location so next class would be very much interesting because the most technical aspect of class a fire rated extinguisher will be discussed by using the table which we discussed today 
I hope you understand our today's session. If you have any queries, you can just contact me on YouTube through comment section or you can email me as well on my email ID which is already available on my YouTube channel. Thanks and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscription button and click the notification to get more updates.